Hello everyone and thanks for joining us. I am Yimba Umar here on Front Row Politics on Control TV. There are some very interesting information that is coming out from Zamfara State. We did hear from the Commissioner for Budget and Planning, Abdul Malik Gajam, who has uh, brought up some really intense uh, accusations uh, against the former government of uh, the state under the leadership of the then governor, uh, Mohammed Bello Matawale. And, uh, those allegations have been pretty damning, but uh, some responses have been meted out by the former Commissioner for Information, Ibrahim Dosara, uh, to those allegations that were made by the current government of Zamfara State. Let's take a listen. We met Zamfara State in insecurity crisis. When we talk about economic output, Zamfara State is 32 over 37. When we talk about importation, Zamfara State is 32 over 37. When we talk about business competition and industrialization, Zamfara State is 35 over 37. When we talk about healthcare, Zamfara State is 26 over 37. When we talk about education, Zamfara State is 30. When we talk about ICT, Zamfara State is 34. So when you look at all these numbers, this is based on the statistics that was done by ADSR scorecards of the Nigerian states and overall averagely the high mark was 45. Zamfara said we was under 40. So Zamfara said was 36, 30, uh, 36 over 37. Overall in Nigeria that means we are last. We are taking the Z. Zamfara said this year alone is to pay debt servicing of over 30 billion. We have paid more than 20 billion from January to date. As it stands today in Zamfara state they do not have two vehicles that can take you from Zamfara to Abuja efficiently and effectively in time. A government that removes from public account taxpayer money to put into a construction and nothing is built there. There is nothing, nothing to show in healthcare. Even those primary healthcare when you cannot even take animals into those structures. You have built a health primary healthcare hospital with World Bank uh, monies and then substandard work and at the end of the day there is no equipment, there is no manpower, there is no plan, there is no policy. We are still having emergencies in Mafara local government, in Anka local government. Children are dying of cholera. You think that government will be sensible enough to invest those monies into the education sector? We do not have a functioning education system. What will amaze you is the idea that the past administration spent three years without paying for our egg only for our students. That means every young person in Zamfara State that graduated secondary school in the past three years has become a second person to somebody from Imo, to somebody from Sokoto that is the same age of him, that we are engaged into, that we are enrolled into school together. Now he is three years far behind. The past administration spent more than 15 billion years in the government house alone. And now, if you go to the state, there is no governor's office that is functioning. We even need to, re we are rehabilitating it at the moment. They bought massage chairs of 50, 50 million naira, where people are hungry, where people are dying of uh, illiteracy and insecurity, and people are dying of malnutrition. There is no five kilometer road built in four years. They have spent billions of Zamfara State and money. They came to uh, Amcon. The contribution of pension, it, used, it was supposed to be since the inception in 2005. The employer will contribute, the employee will contribute. From the beginning of time since its inception, the government of Zamfara State never, the employer never put in their contribution. That is the government. Employees we are contributing. At the end of the day, this past administration came to Amco, withdrew them, removed themselves from that engagement of a fiscal policy that transformed the pension processes and enabled our people to get access to their investment after retirement. They withdrew that money. They squandered over one point something billion out of pension money. What do you do with pension? The legacy that governor, past governor, left in the state 
he bought vehicles, he locked vehicles and dashed them away to bandits. The evidence is there. He was given asylum in the government house for bandits. People that killed people, even in the barbaric era, there has never been a time where a, a, an emir or a king would give asylum to somebody that, that kills people. Well, if you ask me, these are very interesting times. That's the Commissioner for Budget and Planning, Zamfor Estate. Let's just take it up from that very point where he emphasized 30 billion naira, to which 20 billion have been paid under the current administration. Debts, he claims, were amassed upon the state and the people of Zamfor Estate by the Bello Matawale administration. But we would have loved to have Ibrahim Gosara, the Commissioner for Information, on the Bello Matole to respond to us. He had promised that he would join us on this program, but for some reasons we were unable to uh, get him to, to join us. But these are the facts of the matter. The, the, <coughs> my apologies, the facts of the matters. That's the pension uh, funds that were allegedly taken away and then put into projects that were never completed. Ibrahim Dosara, in, in, in an interview, revealed the true situation that those pictures was a misrepresentation of the facts and that indeed those projects were executed and delivered, but the current administration has chosen to go and take the initial pictures at the start of those projects to brandish and to mislead people and misinform people. Uh, so we would like to see how uh, that pans out, to see those actual pictures. If uh, Ibrahim Dosara can make them available to us, we'll be very glad to, to have them. Also, on the issue of security, the, which is the main crux that has bedeviled Zamfara State over the past years, is the reason why uh, the then governor, Bello Matawale, said he was going to become governor to tackle those uh, issues. And at the time, the people of Zamfara were looking on to someone who will come as a messiah to deliver them from the killings, the wanton killings that had been perpetrated in the state just during the Yari administration. So the people of Zamfara State wanted someone like Matawale who was able to quell down uh, insurgency as well as banditry in Zamfara State to a barest minimum. We, it went for nine months without any, uh, in, uh, any incidents of killings anymore in Zamfara State. So that goes to him as a, as a credit. Now, he had, was able to build up a system, a strategy that worked for Zamfara State, so much so that uh, the neighboring Katsina State was able to come and borrow a leaf <coughs> From, uh, from Zamfara State and also implemented those policies that was able to help them to reduce banditry in their state. So one wonders now why Dauda, who is the current governor of Zamfara State, will have to go back to, to Katsina State to go and borrow a leave from there when he has the original developed uh, prototype, uh, the, the, the real thing with him in his own in his own state of government. So it seems to suggest that uh, something is playing out that is, isn't really clear here. But we're waiting to get in touch with the commissioner himself, as well as Ibrahim Dosara, just so that they can iron this out for the good people of Zamfara State to know the truth. There are other things that uh, he also brought up about the AD, ADRS, uh, those indices that they brought out about the uh, Zamfara State infrastructure, Zamfara State industrialization, Zamfara State, uh, so many of them, as a matter of fact, to which Zamfara State was scoring very low. In response to that, Ibrahim Dosara said that what the governor, the then governor, Bello Batawale, came to do was to help to restore dignity of life and property in Zamfara State, to which he did. He delivered on his mandate, which is to stop the insurgency and the banditry that had been perpetrated in Zamfara State for just so long. So 
does it mean then that he just focused on that alone or he after that because he enjoyed tranquility for a long time did he focused on projects some other projects yes Ibrahim Dosar told us that there were some road constructions that were done there were housing projects that were also done there was human capital development that was done and so many more things we're waiting to hear from him uh, if he can uh, give us more information about what the previous administration was able to do in its four years uh, from 2019 to 2023. So we, we're going to be watching very closely to see how this pans out. But that's the latest that we can uh, tell you uh, from Zamfara State, which is uh, one of the most difficult states to govern in the northern part of the Nigeria, Zamfara State, and indeed Moji states are the two uh, very politically enlightened states, uh, I might add. So it makes it quite difficult for anyone to just come cow anyone. So we're going to keep to this very close debate to find out whether these are indeed facts or are they fiction. One billion naira of pension funds is no joke. I'm Gimba Omar. I will keep you updated.